Hey, uh, this is Terry from Metadink, and today we're going to talk about our iBoroscope or our wireless boroscope. Um, the way that this unit's set up to work is that it'll work with any Android, iPhone, or Windows uh, cellular telephone as your monitor. It'll allow you to capture images onto your phone, and then also you could use it with a laptop if you wanted to do video and image capture through a browser. Um, the unit is set up as two parts, so you have your video probe which is interchangeable, you can get different lengths and diameters. And then you'll have the wireless handle. <clears throat> this is set up with its own IP address, so basically it'll project a wireless signal, and with your phone you would locate that signal, connect to it, and that would give you your wireless video feed across, um, across I guess wireless, not really Bluetooth. Um, for the handle itself, there is a micro USB port, so this is what you would use to charge it. Um, it will give you portable use, so you don't necessarily need to have a computer laptop there to plug it in all the time. Um, there's a power button on the, on the front, and then there's also LED controls for the lights on the front of your probe. So you will have illumination when you're doing your inspections that way. Um, using the unit with an iPhone, basically you're going to want to turn on your phone. Um, once you do that, like I said, you want to go into your Wi-Fi settings, you'll locate the camera unit itself. Um, so once this is turned on, it'll start projecting a signal. That'll be what you'll locate. Um, Okay, so once you locate your wireless signal on your phone, um, that means that it'll start projecting to your phone. All you have to do after that is go into the program. On your iPhone, it'll be CamC that you're gonna use. Um, if you're using an Android phone, it would be something slightly different, but all of that information will be in the manual itself. So when you connect with CamC, um, it'll take a little while to load up, but you'll start to get your live image feed going straight across from the tip of the probe into your phone. And then this is what you will use to capture images and video, or sorry, just your images, um, and that would be what you would use. Um, anything else from that, um, you can use the files, it'll give you 25 frames per second, um, so it's fairly quick video, and then your resolution should be 640 by 480. Um, the image that'll be on the screen should be a little bit better, because usually most of the phones have high resolution screens, so it will kind of make it a little bit easier to see what you're looking at too. And we should be able to need to use the unit. Okay, so once you have the live image going on your screen, you can see that you can clearly move around and just view what you're inspecting on your phone. This will allow you to capture images of your inspections and just use the phone as your monitor while you're working with it. So it should make it a lot easier to do inspections that way, and there's a lot less you need to carry with you onto a job site.